hello. How are you? Hey, nurse. Um, this is welcome to welcome back to another one of my show and share screenshot training videos. Um, my Forex for Nurses series. Welcome back. And um, my name is Stacy Bogle. I am a uh, the founding partner of the Nurse to Entrepreneur Network. If you are a LPN or RN and you know you're looking for a way to earn some additional income, if you have been seeing me and, and, and uh, catching some of my posts and stuff on here, then um, you know that I am on a mission right now to empower other nurses with the skill of learning how to trade for us. Um, by being able to, you know, start a business online, learning how to trade Forex. So you've been hearing me talk about it. And what I decided to do is I wanted to just kind of show you. And um, because really this is us taking our, I'm still, you know, learning. I'm not an expert trader, but that's my goal is to become an expert trader. And I know that I'm only going to be able to become that in just practice, you know, and doing it more. So what I said is I wanted to, you know, share my journey with you. And then hopefully, you know, I inspire you as well. I make it clear as to what I'm talking about with the Forex so you can actually see um, what I mean. And then also kind of just, you know, um, inspire you as well to, you know, step out. And if you have been looking for a way to earn some additional income to truly consider Forex and, and um, to be um, the vehicle for you to make that happen, um, especially because if you're looking for like a work from home um, deal, this is definitely it. Um, at home, in my little office area, off the side of my kitchen, on my laptop, and I am analyzing, I'm going to place a trade. So I wanted to just kind of do like a walkthrough. Okay, and kind of just show you some of the things that you're going to be learning how to do um, when you um, partner, when you partner with me, when you're starting your your um, business online, learning to trade the Forex. These are the skills that you're going to learn, okay, through the educational platform. All right. So, you get um, on the last video, I did a chart markup. Okay, and I showed you how to get your chart to this. All right. So on the on the chart markup, we mark the high and the low on the daily. This is your daily view from um, December 15th. And I marked it off. Our stop point is um, January 15th. So I told you on when we're doing our chart markup, we either our start date is either going to be depending on what day of the month we're doing our charts, we're going to go back to either the 15th or um, the the 30th or the first, right? So we want the 15th or the first, um, and because we want about two weeks worth of data um, to to you know start our to mark our charts on. So this is going from December 15th. I have my line here. And then um, our stop point, we're going to work into January 15th. So this is our daily view. And then this is our four hour view on the same chart. Yeah. There's our four hour view. And see here, you have you color coordinated our lines. We have that fuchsia line, which is showing the daily low over the last two weeks, and then our daily high. Um, really high, and then we have um, this blue dotted line. It is our four-hour high or our four-hour low, and then we have our four-hour high on this line, and then we have our one-hour view. We have our one hour view. So 
then we have this dotted um, light blue line. Okay, and then this is your one hour low here, and this is our one hour high here. We are focusing on the pair UJ, which is the US dollar against the Japanese yen. Um, we're basically determining how many yen is going to, we're speculating on how many yen um, it takes to make one US dollar. And what we are, the yen is how many, you, what the UJ is, how many yen does it take to make one dollar? And we're speculating if this price is going to go up or down on a given time frame. Okay, so we're marking our charts and we're analyzing our data on the one hour. If you're a beginning trader, they always um, encourage us to set up your charts on the one hour, the four hour, and the daily. So this is our um, one hour view for the UJ. Again, our four hour view. on the UJ. All right. You can kind of see here um, going from the 15th to now. And then these candles, each of these candles, so when you're looking at the different time frames, like the hour time frame, the four hour that we're on right now, and then the daily time frame, each of these candles symbolize the activity that happened within that time frame. So each of these candles represent the activity that has happened within the within a four hour time frame. So now, and the green candles mean that the price, it's um, these are bear candles because it means that the price started, start at the bottom and then close at the top. So price started, what is this? Today is Wednesday, January 20, or January 10th, 2024. And this is the candle, this is the four hour candle from nine o'clock. So within this time out, within this time frame, and this is my, my chart is set for Eastern time, for New York time. So we're looking at the candle here. This candle symbolizes um, from nine o'clock, four hours starting at nine o'clock. So it would have opened at nine, 10, 11, 12, one, and then closed that one. So at nine, this candle opened at 145.32 and then closed at 145.662. So we had some growth. The market um, saw some growth. So let's say for instance, we were placing a trade on UJ or uh, nine o'clock and you're speculating that the market is going to continue to go up. As we see, we've been seeing the trend. The market has been going up. Okay, so this is from Tuesday. We had a little bit of a drop on um, Tuesday morning at five, um, but then the market recovered. And then now we've just been seeing in these four hour time um, candles, we've been seeing the market go up. Okay, so if you got in on Tuesday, if you were buying, um, entering a UJ trade on Tuesday and you felt like, you know what, even though um, we had a little bit of a fall, a little bit of a dip, I really, you know, I'm speculating the market's going to go up. And if you would have placed a trade um, on Tuesday and just held that trade, then you would have saw all of this growth. If you would have um, on that on that buy, you would have saw all of that growth because you would have bought here at one three at one forty three. 0.76, and if you would have held that trade right now, you would have been at around 145.62 or 0.612. Okay, so the point is you would have had all of that built had you just had kept that trade. And these are the things that you're going to learn through this platform, okay? The platform empowers you to make decisions like this. The, the platform empowers you to be able to look at the chart and then taking all of the information that they've given to that they have given you to be able to on the basic level look at the chart and be able to speculate and say you know what based on the current activity over the last few days you've seen um the market has gone up but then it came back down we had a little bit of um some continuation here 
and then we did have that drop um now we're kind of you know a little bit of continuation here and then we dropped again but then the market has kind of been on an upward bound um now we did have this was on the fifth we did have that drop kind of over the weekend monday um, there was some drop on the four hour, this candle. And then since then we've been kind of, the market has been um, going up. All right. Um, from when was this? Tuesday the 9th up until currently. All right. We currently are in a four hour candle that started at two o'clock. And this candle will close around six. Now, also mind you that the market is 24 hours in four markets globally. Okay, so the, the New York market runs from 9 to 5, and then we have um, we have the U.S. market, we have the Asian market, we have the U.K. market, and then um, we have the Australia market. There's four markets. Um, So that's based off of my memory. But right now, when, I, when I'm when i trading, I'm focusing on the, the New York market, okay? Um, especially because I'm doing UJ. And um, we're, we're trading the stronger um, US dollar against the yen. So it makes sense to me to trade within when the US market is open, when our New York market is open. Now, one of the things about trading is, is that because it's a 24 hour market, you have the ability 24 hours a day, Monday through Friday, the markets are closed on Saturday and then we start back up on Sunday. So now the thing about trading is because it's 24 hours, you can find the time that's going to work for you to get in here and do your trades. Now, certain trades are going to be better to, to trade or you know to to work during certain times like certain pairs are going to be better to to trade on in the u.s you know when the new york market is open some trades may be better to trade on when the uk market is open so it just really depends on the um the pair that you're trading and then also your schedule because you want to commit to a time to where it's going to be convenient for you to get on here and look at these charts and make a decision okay so um you may have heard me talk about some resources to help you with your trades and some of the resources are so now when you're opening this is kind of like my routine i will go on the um platform um, our educational platform, I'll do a trading, and then I have my, my chart set up. And for me, I do my chart once a week, I'm getting into that habit. Um, now, they do encourage you to, to mark up, to practice marking up your charts on the daily, you know, every day. If you have the time for that, then that's what's up. Um, as busy nurses, you don't always have the time to sit and do a chart markup every day. So... For me, and what I suggest for you as a busy nurse, if you're trying to figure out how this can work for you, do your chart markup on a Sunday or a Monday and then work that chart for the week. And, you know, make your trades um, for the week based on that, you know, what you, um, your chart that you started on Sunday or Monday and then just reference that chart throughout the week as you're doing your trades. Okay, so you look at your chart, you go, you're going on trading view, you're pulling up your chart. I said, this is UJ, and then some of the resources. So now the, what they also teach us is that one thing about the trades is that um, the news does have an effect on the markets. So they gave us this reference, which is forexfactory.com. And this is a um, financial calendar okay of the things that are going on globally that could affect the market okay so what we're doing here is today today is wednesday january 10th and you just want to take a look at what's going on that could have an effect on the market okay so right now it's around um it's 2 30 now it's saying here 
um, for the U.S. It has the different currency pairs, Euro, um, GBP is the British pound, Great, uh, Great British pound, USD is the U.S. dollar, NSD is um, Netherlands dollar, AUD is the Aussie dollar, okay? So, the USD is news that's correlating to the United States. And then these little boxes here show you, as you hover over it, low impact. So, these are the things that happened today. They already faded it out. And then when you see things like this here, something coming up, um, but it's going to have a low impact at 315. And you may just kind of want to um, watch. You may want to... Um, watch your chart you may want to if you know something even though it's a low impact in the beginning you may want to say you know what something's going on around 3 15 maybe i'll wait till about 3 34 o'clock to see if the market has responded either way before getting in you know um so these kind of just give you a heads up on what's going on um so you know now here we go for um jpy japanese yen 12 at midnight we have some leading indicator news, which is supposed to have a low impact on the market. Low impact expected. Okay, and then you'd be able to click over here to open the details and then it'll tell you. Okay, um, level of composite index based on 11 economic indicators. And then you could just kind of read into this and as you, as you do more, you'll understand more. But this is just basically to kind of tell you what's going on and just to be mindful that it can have an impact on the market. So you would come over here now. If you're planning ahead, 8.30, Thursday morning, we have some things that can have coming up in the U.S. Um, in the U.S. news that can, that will have, is expected to have a high impact on the market. Okay, we have this core CPI, high impact, red, high impact. See, and here's your legend. Um, CPI, month over month, CPI, year over year, unemployment claims. All of these things, all of these news events have effects on the market. So you know around 8.30 tomorrow, maybe you should just let this news play out before you start making trades. Okay, and then you can click on here. And then kind of read the summary of what all, you know, what's going to be going on and what the anticipated um, effect will be. And then let it play out and then see, you can go back and look at it and then see, okay, this is what's really going on. Um, This is the impact that this news had on the market. Okay. So this is just a reference. I had no idea that this existed, but in hanging out with these people and going to the trainings and getting on the classes with them, they're sharing all of these resources that we can, you know, use and reference. So now to help us make more informed decisions as we're placing our trades. This is another um, website. This is Daily FX. Okay. So now if you go on here, you would just click that. All right, so now this gives you, we have some, it gives you um, market news, economic calendar. These are recent head market news headlines. Um, economic calendar, we kind of click on this. You can see, you know, what's going on in all the different markets. Sweden, you know, so you could kind of browse through this. And this is just, you know, you don't even really realize that this information exists. But then once you know, when you start to look at it, you're like, oh, wow, this is kind of cool. This is just stuff that for most of us, we don't know, you know, and 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 I know, um, you know, just depending on your, your environment, the people that you're around, most people don't know about this stuff. So it's cool when you get put on to things like this. Um, because, you know, it's the people that know who know. And this is stuff that we're not taught in school. You know, this is not necessarily common knowledge, but for the people who know, um, this is stuff that can really, you know, move you ahead. All right. So since we're 
um, working on UJ. This is this is applicable to us. Japanese yen falls further on weaker wage data. So we just kind of read through this, just letting you know that the yen is falling. Um, it's falling back in December. Kind of read through this. Okay, and kind of just you know, this will kind of give you an idea of how. This will give you an idea, since we're trading one pair against the other, and it's saying, okay, that the yen is kind of weak right now in relation to the dollar. So, um, you can come up with your own analysis, your own synopsis, based on what you read. And the more that you're into it, I think the better you're going to get at just kind of doing a quick analysis of the information. Now, what we don't want to do is get stuck on this. Okay, because you could be sitting here trying to figure everything out based off of what this is telling you and then be here for hours. And then this is where the time consumption comes in because you're stuck on analysis paralysis. Okay, we're just really, the point is, is we're just taking a quick glance at some news that could affect the market. And then, you know, we're putting, we're taking that information and kind of just putting it into play so we're keeping it into the back of our minds um, as we place this trade, as we go back now and we see how the market is going. Right now, we're, we're up. Okay, the market is going up. We're in a bull market. Green is bull. We're going up. Price is going up. Okay, buyers are coming in and taking over the market. All right, that's your four-hour view. All of these candles are four-hour candles with the price that has been going up. On the one hour look um, time frame, these are all candles, one hour candles. This is all activity. Each candle is representing one hour. This is all price has been going up over these few hours. Okay, right now, there's a little bit of movement. That was your one o'clock candle. Here is your two o'clock candle. We still, this candle still open. We still have about 20 minutes before this candle closes. And then we would have saw the activity that would have happened from two to three in the market, okay? Currently, the price is going up, all right? And then we have the candle for today. Now the candle, the daily candle is still open because we're still on, we're still on the 10, okay? So here we go. This is a bull candle. This is where we started today at 144.506 and this is where we are now 145.664 and this is kind of the growth that we've had the market has been going up today all right now if you're analyzing this like i said these are your dailies you're not going to really know um now we can assume that the market's still going up because for the most part i mean we've been seeing growth all day so if you want to ride if you want to um, they encourage us to, in the beginning, to trade with the trend. The market's going up. Place your trade with the trend. All right. We've looked at the data. We know that the yen is kind of weak right now and the dollar is stronger in relation to the yen. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that and we're just going to test our intuition right now. Okay. So... This is my broker. Like I said, I am with Wanda. Sign into my account here. And this is where you place your trades. Okay? There are various brokers out here. So you got to find a broker that, um, you know, um, a broker that's going to suit your needs and what you're trying to do. For the most part, you don't know what you're trying to do yet. And you don't know what you're... Um, you don't know what your needs are because you, because you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So my see, I've worked. I personally had accounts with two brokers so far. Orlando, I have a funded account with them, and also Forex.com. I've had a funded account with that broker as well. I started with Forex.com, but then I came over to Wanda specifically because. Um, when you're in the beginning, most of us are going to be trading. I'm trading on a budget. You may think you need a whole lot of money. You really don't. I opened this account with $100. 
and they make it very easy for me to now with a wanda or any broker you're able to open a free account which is called a demo account when you're ready when you're ready um when you're ready to actually start taking the trades then you're able to okay i just i'm pulling this up to show you what's in my account okay just as a full uh what is it full transparency so i have i have the funds in my account but the point is just to show you that i am trading and that anybody can start this on a very small level this is the point that i'm making i started this account with a hundred dollars one hundred dollars and then what i've done is i've taken you know when i get paid with this um you have you need you can Fund your account with a debit card, but it has to be like a bank debit card. It can't be like a prepaid. Like for, um, if you're like an agency nurse like me, um, we get our stat pay, which is like on a prepaid debit card. They will not accept, most brokers are not accepting the prepaid card. So then I have to go and put it on another. I did have to transfer the funds from my prepaid um, debit card that I get from my job and put it onto my regular, whether you have a Bank of America or PNC or whatever bank account, and then you're able to fund your account. Okay. And I've been able to take my account. I've been funding it and I got it up to 319. Okay. So this is just to show you that yes, this is my account and you can start. You do not need thousands of dollars to get into this thing. Okay. People are You'll hear some of the testimonies from our community where people are doing $100 account, $100 account, $100 in their account to start. And over time, they're growing their account to, you know, three and four figures. Well, it's already at three here for $100. But the point is, they're growing their accounts multiple hundreds up to, you know, $1,100, $1,200 and all of that. So small beginnings is the point. But the point is to begin, right? So now, this is where, Wanda, this is where you will take your trade, okay? This is where you make your trade. So once you open your broker account, you're going to place a trade. We have this set on the four hour. So the price is here at 145. Now, what I want to do, now what we're deciding, what we're basically saying is we're speculating that the market is going to go up or will the market go down? Previously, the market did go up here, but then we had a fall and the market came down. So right now we're at 145. 145.468. And if we look across here, once price got up to, and this is our four hour high, I'm on a four hour time frame. Once price got up to that, it actually fell. So, what we can say, what from, and now this is my own, this is my own analysis that I'm just thinking out loud and sharing. I feel like that perhaps it may go up to 146. But at the same time, I feel like we could have a drop in the market because we had the high. And based on, they always tell you to look to the left. And based on what has happened, based on previous history, it has come up to about 145, but then this is where we saw the drop. Okay. <clears throat> Now, the only time where it's really gone past 146, we did see some growth right here at 149, and that was back in November. And then since then, we've been seeing the fall, okay? So based on the fact that the yen is kind of weak right now in relation to the dollar, and for the fact I feel like, 
Okay. I feel like we're at the high. If we look to the left. I feel like we're at the high and we could see a drop. Um, I think if we get much higher, it may be to maybe 146. We can test that theory. Let's just test that theory, okay? Let's test that theory right now. The market is. Let's test that theory and um, see where it takes us. Now, when um, you're taking the training, they are going to show you how to protect your account. Oh, okay, we're 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 going to show you how to protect your account. They're going to show you how to protect your account so that you're not um, risking your entire account. So we're gonna go in here, trade value, okay. What we're gonna do is place a trade. We're gonna put our take profit. We're at 145, We're gonna put our take profit. I don't understand. I really feel like I want to go. I want to. I really feel like I want to sell right now. I really feel like I want to sell. And these are your own decisions, okay? I really feel like I want to sell right now. Okay, I really feel like I want to sell. So what we're going to do, and this is about where we saw the break here. This is the this is where we are right now. So we're going to take it down here to this one hour high, but this is where we're at now in the four hour high, and I feel like the market could go down. So we're going to put our take profit at 143.600 and then our stop loss and then our stop loss we're expecting it to fall right now, if the market goes up, we want to. We don't want to get too caught up, all right? Because then that means that we should have. We're saying we're selling because we think that the market, that the price is going to drop. If we're buying, we think because the price is going to go up. We're. I'm saying. Stacy is saying. In my analysis and in my intuition, I feel like the market's going to go down. I feel like we've topped out the market right now, based on um, trend. And based on some news and based on just my own intuition. So I just want to play with this a little bit. Okay. So we're going to put our stop loss. I'm saying it's going to go down. But what if I'm wrong? Right. So if I'm wrong, we don't want to blow my whole account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my stop loss at 146. Give myself a little bit of room. And then... Let me see where we're at right now. We're currently at 145.468. No, we're not going to lose that. We're going to put it at 1. But 145, we'll put it at 150.
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, um, I was able to make the trade on my phone. And I'm gonna include a screenshot so you can see. I actually did the trade. Um, I did a sell, I did a UJ sell. Cause I feel like the market, I feel like the market was gonna go down. I feel like we had based on this and then um, I feel like we had kind of maxed out for the day. So, I think, in my opinion, I felt like, and then if I wanted to hold the trade for a minute, I felt like um, we, we were gonna have, that the market was gonna go down. We were up, but this was all the way back in March, or I'm sorry, in November. When the market was, when we did, when we had that, um, when the market was like above 149. That was back in November. Uh, and we kind of hit that high and then it's been kind of been going down from there. So this was just my own and you know, I'm kind of strengthening my own intuition and these are the things, you know, you just have to kind of play with it a little bit and don't be scared, you know, to make a bad decision because, or to not even a bad decision, but don't, you can't be afraid to, you know, um, be wrong once or twice so then you can get better so you can be right the third and the fourth time right so then um and then also this is where your demo account is going to come in because you'll be able to really play with it and your demo practice account um is something that you can still open up through a broker like Wanda, but it would just be a free account and you basically it would be like monopoly money you know what I'm saying? So you'd be able to make the trades, but it wouldn't be any of your live money yet until you would just practice with it until you get the, the hang of making um, of making decisions of when to buy and sell. Okay, so, you know, people use that for maybe a month, two, three months, and they, you know, practice with that regularly and then build their skill and their confidence up and then they just go ahead and fund their account and then they're able to just trade live. And when they hit, then they hit for real, all right? But if you're worried about the losses, your solution for right now is to open a free demo practice account, get on the platform, start to learn, educate yourself, and then practice taking them trades on that free account. And once you start actually winning two or three of them trades on the practice account, that's gonna motivate you to go ahead and go live. All right, so, all right, nurse, nurse, nurse. I really hope that this was um, valuable to you on our next video or so. I'll work it out to where you'll be able to see me actually do the trade on the web, um, on their website. Like I said, I was able, I have the app, the Awanda app on my phone. So I was able to place the trade on my phone and I'll just screenshot it and add it to the video so that you can see, um, you know, me do the, you know, you can actually see that I placed my trade and then I will keep you updated and, We'll see how, how good my intuition was on that. All right, then. Well, um, I hope you enjoy. I hope this gave you some value. And I'll see you on the next video. You have a great day.